Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. The Rock Review is thrilled to bring you an award-winning singer, songwriter, keyboardist, producer, and now author. Brady Seals, talking about his brand new book, God Bless Texas and Me Too. Brady, thanks for coming on the show. Man, thanks for having me, man. We, we, we were talking. I think that we've met many times. We just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? exactly. You know, in, anytime you're talking with guitar people in Nashville, right. we automatically have that bond, and particularly from, from your, uh, you know, shop that you had and also, you know, the videos you did with yeah. uh, Music City Pickers Live. But, mm -hmm. uh, but what a great book. You know, I've been having a lot of fun reading through this. You know what I found interesting also, Brady? Six pages of acknowledgments. Man, well, you know, it was funny because like when you write a memoir, you're thinking, no, wait a minute, there's a lot of people responsible for getting me where I am today, right? right. You know, so it's like, well, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not like like you know, receiving an award, but at the same time, you know what? My life is a reward, you know. So right. I'm like, hey, you know, y'all are responsible, you know. So it's <laughs> it's cool, you know. I thought it was awesome, and also that you dedicated the book to your son Evan. But yeah, you know, he's he's 12 years old. And, um, you know, I would have given anything in the world to have had a book that my dad wrote, you know, I, I'm because 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 my dad passed, I guess it's been maybe 12, 13 years ago. And there's so many questions that I have now, you know, yeah. that I would love to just just get his get his two cents on, you know? So, so, I mean, if, if I sold one, it wouldn't matter if it's, if it's, if it's for Evan, that's what it's for. Well, and I don't think you're going to have any problem selling copies of it because I, I found it so riveting. And also, you know, to me, I was impressed Brady on how you intertwined your faith and, and the book was really born of hard times in your life that kind of motivated you to fully write this. Yeah, you know, I mean, really the title, God Bless Texas, of course, I, you know, co-wrote this song back in the day right. for a little Texas and yeah. and uh, and had a big hit on it and was so blessed by it. Uh, that just, just that in itself was a blessing. Mm -hmm. But there's been so many other times in my life that God blessed me, even in the hard times, um, right. you know, and, and you and you kind of have to get through those hard times for you to mm -hmm. understand where the blessing was because yes. boy, during the hard times you're like man where are you you know what i'm saying <laughs> like come on don't do it don't do this right. you know? um but but looking back on it now i just felt that it was only fitting for me to uh title the book god bless texas and me too you know right well you know, and, and you're so honest throughout the book and, and the first chapter opens up with little texas at its height you know as you guys are really hitting your peak and I mean the pictures and everything I I actually had to listen to some little Texas music before the interview to get me fully in the mood yeah. and uh but you guys you know had so many great hit songs you toured with them for for six years as little yeah. Texas but you started out as a touring musician at only 16 years old and come from a whole family with the seals name of musicians yeah man it, it, it was crazy you know I, I grew up in Fairfoot Ohio and and my my biggest influence growing up was my uncle Troy. Um, my 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 uncle's Troy Seals. He's a he's a songwriter, Hall of Famer. He's written songs. Uh, gosh, the last time I checked, he had over forty number one songs. Right, so songs like "Who's Gonna Fill Their Shoes" and Seven Spanish Angels," oh "Rock and Roll Heart" by Eric Clapton. You know, uh, just I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, I mean, he's he's had he's had cuts by Elvis Presley and the Rolling Stones. It's just Ridiculous. been crazy. So so, but when I was growing up, that was that was the shoes that I wanted to fill, you know. Right. And 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 I really didn't even understand my whole connection with Dan Seals mm -hmm. and Jimmy Seals of Seals and Crofts until right. later on, you know. And of course, there's Chuck Seals who wrote Crazy Arms, the the, the big hit back in the day. Oh yeah. And then there's Johnny Duncan, who's also a uh, cousin as well. So there, there's there's a bunch of us, right? You couldn't get away from it because right. I told you, you know, as I was uh, preparing for the show last night and, and reading your book and everything, I, I just never connected it because, you know, knowing your name and knowing you with, you know, with, uh, with Little Texas and obviously also with Hot Apple Pie and everything, I never put two and two together until, you know, I guess back in 2016 when, uh, when you formed Seals and Croft 2. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. And, you know, the Seals and Crofts 2 thing was just something that just happened. I was I was in the midst of of thinking about doing a record of Seals stuff. Right. So mm-hmm. maybe maybe me recutting a couple of Seals and Crofts tunes, a couple of Dan Seals tunes, a couple of Troy Seals songs and then my stuff, you know, and I had Lua Crofts, which is Dash Crofts, daughter, come over mm-hmm. one day. And I had known her for years and years. When I, when I first went out on the road solo, uh, she came and she sang background uh, harmony with me. Oh, wow. She can sing circles around me. She's so, so good. And so so anyway, she came over and I was like, hey, you know, would you want to do like maybe Summer Breeze and maybe get closer or something, you know? And and <laughs> and, and she came over, man, and we started singing and it was magical. I was like, Oh my Lord, you know, so I, I literally stopped everything I was doing and I said, you know what, we ought to at least give this, you know, a nod, you know, and maybe go out and do some shows, which that's when Seals and Crofts 2 was born. And um, so we go out um, periodically um, when, you know, buyers want us to, and we'll, and, we'll, and we'll come out and we'll sing the hits, you know, and we do them as close as we possibly can. Uh, eyes light up when you sing Summer Breeze or We May Never Pass This Way Again. You know, it's really cool. Just a, just what a great catalog. But, you know, with you as an artist and as a producer, and I was going to bring up too, as I was reading the book, what I really enjoy that you brought out in this, Brady, are like some of the stories and to me that are just so Nashville, like uh, with, uh, with Willie Nelson, you know, <laughs> with setting up your studio time close yeah. to and, and in a studio close to where Willie was so that he could come over and sing back up easy. Speaking of Willie, I mean, that he, he was such a huge influence on me when I was growing up, you know. And then, of course, when Troy had seven Spanish angels with Ray and Willie, I was just okay. like, oh, my gosh, it's so cool, you know. And then later I would find out that Troy actually um, flew out to Vegas, cool little backstory, uh, flew out to Vegas with Willie and Waylon. They rented out a, a penthouse suite on the top of like Caesar's Palace or something like that or whatever, and wrote that whole album. Um, if I had a clean shirt, I might record yeah, that, that they remember. put out as a duo kind of thing. And it was just those three up there writing songs. And I was thinking, my gosh, it's so, so cool, you know. So Troy knew Willie really well. Mm-hmm. Um, the other cool connection was that um, Willie was the first Atlantic uh, artist signed here in Nashville, right? When, when, yeah, you know, um, Atlantic opened up a a division here. So Willie was the first artist. And my uncle Troy was the second artist that was signed as a solo artist. Um, Of course, he was really, really close with Conway Twitty at the time. And Conway stole all of his songs and said, "Man, (laughs) man, you know, please give me those songs. And Troy was like, OK, you know, so right. and then Troy had Conway Twitty's number uh, first number one song. So like, wow, you know, so mm-hmm. when he came in and sang on a song that um, I, I, I sang like like a duet with him with the Hot Apple Pie Project, it was such a pleasure for me. Well, you know, and once again, you know, with the pictures and everything, seeing you guys, you know, uh, with Waylon Jennings, with all of these people over the years, I mean, you know, I mean, just. I mean, a great and exciting life. And even in, in the hard times, you yeah. still had some magical things happening. But, you know, also, you know, as, as you went through depression and anxiety and everything, you also honestly shared those things. I got to ask you, you know, when people buy the book and read it, what are you hoping they take away from it, you know, when they do that? The biggest thing is, is encouragement, you know, inspiration. Uh, and, and, you know, because for me, uh, in 2017, I went through a horrendous divorce um, and was not something that I wanted at all at the time. Um, you know, I, with my faith, I, I believe that there's a covenant that, you know, two people vow to be together forever. And that's what I meant, you know. Um, but no matter what I could do, um, I couldn't reconcile. And uh, it just it just didn't it just it just would not pan out. But boy, I went through a hard time and and struggled with anxiety and depression, just like I did when I left Little Texas. And uh, in, you know, in the book, it tells all about when I left Little Texas and the struggle that I went through 
uh, why I left, so on and so forth. And, you know, the Lord really, really helped me through those times. Um, and I, and I, was re- I, I was reading a lot of Max Licato books at the time, you know. <laughs> And Max is such an inspirational and creative writer. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and finish that, you know, uh, biography that, that I did back 15 years before when I had started. I'd start, I'm, mm-hmm. I maybe wrote like a chapter, but then I thought nobody will w- want to hear my story. But I thought, you know what? Maybe somebody will and somebody will get inspired and, 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 and let somebody know who's going through a really, really hard time that the Lord is there, you know? So, so, so that's really the reason behind the book. You did a new version also of God Bless Texas. So you've got, you've got that single yeah. out and also a video for it, right? Yeah. I, I went into the studio with, with some great guys that, that I've got um, like a cool side project called the Petty Junkies. And, yes. and, 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 and every time that we can find a little club around town or something like that that we can go play, we go play Tom Petty music, which is so, so, so much fun. But those guys were kind enough to come in and, um, and play God Bless Texas with me. And I did my own version, you know, because I, I had never really done that. And I want to make sure, yeah. too, for our viewers that they know where to find you on the web and socially. I know that the book and the hard copy like I'm holding, but I want to make sure also for the book signings and for when you get back out on the road, Brady, doing your own music and everything else, where do our viewers need to go to find you? Just bradyseals.com. That's, that's the, that's the place that I will be putting up all of my tour dates. They're starting to trickle in right now. Um, But, but just right there is the best place. Cause even, even if you want like an autograph copy of the book, you can go to my website, let me know who to, who to autograph it to. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you and send it out. Um, but yeah, you know, just BradySeals.com. You can find merch, you can find the videos, the singles, all that stuff. And maybe some new music coming out this year too, right? Absolutely. I'm, I'm working on a song right now that my uncle, uh, Troy and a, a guy named Eddie Setzer wrote that is absolutely a smash. I can't wait to, uh, record this thing. I'm, I, I literally put the piano on it last night. So, so that's, that's in the pipeline. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, whenever I see you personally, I'm going to need my copy signed also. An incredible book. I think it is inspirational. God Bless Texas and Me Too by Brady Seals. Brady, thank you so much for coming on The Rock Interview and sharing this book with the world. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. 